Coming up this week on LMTV at Excelsior. Just in time for the movie, the spirit of Star Wars comes to Excelsior. Looking for the perfect holiday gift this season? We know where you can find it. An exciting opportunity to make you a star. LMTV at Excelsior is next. This is LMTV, Linmar Television. Excelsior, your news starts now. Welcome to LMTV at Excelsior. I'm Bree. And I'm Jackson. Time now for today's top story. The library is getting ready for the big event. LMTV's Miles has that story. The big event is this weekend's premiere of the new Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi. And now that the winter is coming, why not put the two together and create Star Wars snowflakes? And this is the really cool part. The snowflakes are being sent overseas to military personnel stationed there for Christmas. Thanks to everyone who helped. Back to you. Some Excelsior students spent part of their day spreading holiday cheer throughout the community. LMTV's Kenzie and Jaya have that story. The middle school orchestra groups presented a holiday tour Friday morning. The chamber orchestras and the junior chamber orchestras performed at care facilities in the area. Then, the three orchestra groups from both middle schools met up at the Lindale Mall Food Court and performed over the lunch hour. The orchestra members had a great time, and it really put everyone in the holiday spirit. Back to you. Thanks, guys. Did you know a lot of famous actors and actresses got their first taste of showbiz in middle school? We have an opportunity that could be your big break. LMTV's Kiana and Ariana explain. You could be the next voice of k Roar. The office is looking for announcers for the second semester. They are also looking for office runners for the next quarter. If you are responsible, have excellent attendance, and are doing well in all of your classes, stop by the office before December 20th to sign up to be considered for either job. Back to you. Thanks, girls. Brand new books and connecting with the cool new Makerspace stuff. LMTV's Danica and Maya have the latest from the library. Mrs. Hawk got over 100 new books at the warehouse sale. Have you wanted to know if you were normal? How about an animal grossopedia? Have you read the I Survived book about the Hindenburg disaster? Mrs. Hart even got new things for the Makerspace area, like make your own mini erasers, paper cutographs, twirly cues, and spirographs. Be listening to the announcements so you know when to come sign up. Back to you. Thanks, guys. Time now for some words of wisdom. It's the PBIS Point of Information Minute for the week. Here's LMTV's Kiana and Addie. Have you saved up a lot of PBIS points? Are you looking for the perfect gift to give a friend or family member for the holidays? The student store has restocked for the holiday shopping season! If you need to know how many PBIS points you can have for shopping, you can access your PBIS account online. Student store hours are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning before school from 7.35 to 7.55. The student store is also open Thursday during lunch. Items which will be added the week of December 18th include holiday-themed gifts, candy, and assorted items not seen in the student store yet this year. Hope to see you holiday shopping at the student store. Thanks for your attention to this week's PBIS Point of Information Minute. Hi, Excelsior. The winner of the raffle of the skateboard is... Congratulations, Logan Meter. You're the proud owner of a new longboard. Stop by the office at the end of the day to pick up the prize. Thanks, Mr. Starkey. Time now for the mystery teacher. Here's a look at the clues from our last show. This person played badminton in high school as a school sport. They have played piano for 21 years. They were a cheerleader in high school. They have an eight-year-old brother. The answer is... Miss Klein. Time now for this week's clues. Who is a mystery teacher? LMTV's Emma has this week's news. This person used to race four-wheelers. They have played high school football in Texas Stadium. They like to refurbish campers. This person drives a semi and a school bus in the summer. Got any ideas? We will reveal the name of the mystery teacher in our next show. Back to you. Thanks, Emma. Important news for girls basketball players. LMTV's Carly has that story. Hey, 7th and 8th grade girls basketball players, listen up. 
Pictures will be taken tomorrow at practice. You should have received a picture packet from your coach. Please bring your completed form and money to give to the photographer. Tomorrow on Picture Day. Back to you. An important week for boys swimming. Casey and Miles are here with the Elm TV's Excelsior Sports Report. Today, boys swimming competes in a major metro meet over at Kennedy starting at 345. Thursday, boys swimming is on the road to face Iowa City area teams at the Mercer Park Aquatic Center. That meet also starts at 345. I'm Miles. And I'm Casey. That's this week's Elm TV Excelsior Sports Report. I'm Brianna. And I'm Ben. Here's what the lunch crew is cooking up this week here at Excelsior. Today, it's lasagna. Tomorrow, check out the personal pan pizzas. Wednesday, you love the Sloppy Joe sandwiches. Thursday, it's pizza sticks. And close out the week Friday with a chicken patty sandwich. That's lunch this week at Excelsior. That's a wrap for this week's edition of LMTV at Excelsior. On behalf of the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic week.